Oh, hi everybody, this is James with DH Reptile Design. Uh, sorry, the little red button wasn't on. Um, so I wanted to go over a few things with where we were, how we started off, where we're at now, and where we're going in the future, so that y'all could just kind of see where we're progressing. So when we first started off, we I was very into let's get breeding. Uh, I was just so interested in these different morphs and what you could create. I studied uh, the different types of morphs, not only that, but I also learned how to take care of these awesome animals and also invested quite a bit of money <laughs> at the beginning, especially uh, learning and wasted a lot of money too. So first thing that I first started off with was Mr. Waffles. He's in shed right now, but you can see where we started. We bought him at a show from Coast Reptiles. Uh, he's you've, he's just terrible looking, but we bought him at Coast Reptiles. He was a little baby, and we purchased him for two hundred and ninety dollars. He's a cinnamon albino. Gosh, he is like on that verge of shedding out tonight. So we purchased him, and I was like, oh, that's such a pretty snake, right? I had no idea what we were doing. Then I was like, you know what? I want another snake, because I like freaking like these snakes, and you can only hold them for like 15 minutes at a time before they get stressed out. So I was like, I want to hold another snake. So I went out against my wife's uh, approval and purchased another snake. You have to forgive me, last, uh, she bit me two days ago, yesterday, so if she bites me again, it'll be the second time in two days. But I purchased this one, her name is Fluttershy, she's usually a real sweet girl, but yesterday was feed day and she was smelling rats, and my finger ended up being her, uh, her choice. She was about 400 grams when we got her, I purchased her, uh, not understanding that a banana Mojave Female was actually a pretty rare thing. I didn't know enough to actually sex her. She's got all these beautiful uh, freckles coming out. She's about 1,200 grams, not ready for breeding this season, but will be uh, next season. I really don't push my girls. A lot of people at 1,200 grams feed them a few rats and then call them breed ready. Uh, I want her to get a little bit more maturity on her. But came home. My wife was like, what the heck is that? I said, it's a snake. She didn't talk to me for about two days. And then she's like, all right, better accept it. You know, my husband's doing something. So where do you take it from that? As far as breeding, right? I have an albino cinnamon and a banana Mojave female. <laughs> if you know anything about breeding these awesome animals, there's not really a whole lot you can do with that. Uh, I, I realized that the more research I did, I then decided to do more and more research we purchased uh, several other snakes after that. I tried to go for the big female so that I could start breeding. So we purchased Mr. Mushroom Von Darkside. He's also in shed, but I'm not gonna pull him out because he is like even worse in shed than Mr. Uh, Cinnamon Albino, Mr. Waffles was. So that's a GHI Mojave. And I actually started getting a plan together at this point. I said, you know what? I like these snakes. This is one I wanna create. So I purchased the GHI Mojave after we purchased him and we purchased our Mojave girl, our big, huge 3000 gram girl. And I was like, I want, with that combination, a GHI Mojave plus a Mojave is either going to create some Bells, which is awesome, some GHI Mojaves, which is beautiful, some GHIs, some Mojaves, which are beautiful to me, not everybody. And then of course some, some normals. What we ended up getting was um, a Super Mojave GHI, which I'm holding back. We got Mojave GHIs, we got Bells, we got just an assortment of awesome animals. And so we kept those. And then uh, we, while on that journey, we ended up purchasing a banana, a black pastel. I remember my wife seeing at that show, and she's like, I really love this. I was like, oh my gosh, that's expensive for a male. That is ridiculous. So I looked on Morph Market and saw how much they're going for. And uh, at the show, it was quite a bit cheaper. I was like, let's get that animal. <laughs> so then we're like, okay, now we have a banana black pastel. What do we do with that? And 
again, this is how you kind of get out of control <laughs> with this hobby. Because then we have a new project, right? So then we're like, well, we got to get another banana, right? So uh, then we found our banana girl uh, down there. Her name's Trixie, just straight banana female. But she wasn't ready to breed last year. And... And he wasn't ready to breed, but so this was like a year out. So we're like, okay, preparing for that. And long story short, one project leads to another. I had to get Mr. Waffles a project. I looked into Toffinos. I think they're gorgeous. And a cinnamon Toffino is going to be really hard to beat at the show. People are going to be able to walk by my booth and really just be in awe of those animals. Uh, great thing of uh, BT dubs. If you make a cinnamon albino with a toffino, what you get is you get cinnamon albinos, you get plain albinos, which are still albinos, which is awesome. You get toffinos and you get cinnamon, uh, cinnamon toffinos. So you really can't lose with that. Every single egg is going to be just incredible to look at. So what we have now, we're starting to build a little bit more. As you can see, we have normals. We have Lessers and we have Mojaves. Down there is a Black Pastel. But what we're trying to do now is we're trying to create a little bit better odds in our favor. So what you're going to notice is that we're, we're going for more supers. I want to be able to kind of limit the uh, outcomes and, and make my make all my hard work uh, show up a little bit more on a, on a table or on our website or on Morph Market. So what we have this upcoming year, after this season, we're gonna have uh, Purple Passions, actually Mystic Potions this next year. This year we're gonna have some Cinnamon Toffinos, we're gonna have some Highways, we're gonna have some Gridlocks, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have some abyss. We're gonna have super banana black pastels, super black pastel bananas. We're gonna have all this stuff, people. It's gonna be incredible. That's where we're going in the future, and that's that's where we are at right now. We've been going through a little bit of a transition right now because we had a ton of babies, as you can see, and we were having such a not a whole lot of luck, I guess, selling those animals and. I got to be honest with you, I thought that uh, I was a failure at this because I couldn't sell any of these animals. We had a whole bunch of them up on Morph Market and nobody was inquiring about them. And it was just getting real down in the dumps there for a little while. You know, you're, you're feeding, you're maintaining these animals, you love interacting with these animals. Uh, personally, at our collection size, we could maintain these without uh, having to make any more money. So I don't have to make money at this point. It would just be nice to uh, have a little bit more that we can reinvest. And that's mainly what we're going to be doing with our babies. Every single dollar you see here is going to be going back into this and turning it around to so that we could make a bigger impact in what we're trying to do going forward. So this is uh, James with D-Heart Reptile Design. My wife, Courtney. D Heart, she's going to be responding to you guys on Morph Market. BT Dubs, we ended up selling quite a few of our babies off. In fact, I think in about a week we will not have any stock. And that's a huge satisfaction to me and my wife and our children to know that there is a response to uh, people out there. You will be able to sell your snakes if you get into this hobby. I assure you, people understand that you know, we're producing quality animals and that we're putting our heart and souls into this and they appreciate it. And we appreciate every single one of our customers. So again, thank you. Like and subscribe and we'll, hit, uh, we'll hopefully have this video uploaded pretty quick. Thanks.